Hello everyone. This is a video for the uh, new major release for version 1.5 of the Nano Banana Generative Fill plugin. Uh, the first thing you see when you open this new version is these little buttons right here. So this first button is the prompt history panel. So you'll find uh, the last 20 items, the last 20 prompts you used here in this history panel, and you can delete any history item you need to, or you can press the plus button to add this to your prompt library, which we're going to discuss next. Let's go back. This second button is the prompt library. And you have uh, this prompt library, which contains a number of prompts that uh, I have obtained from all over the internet. These prompts have been tested and tried, and they are organized into these categories, image and portrait, portrait editing, image effects and styles, creative and conceptual generation, mockups and professional use advanced techniques. Let's try one of these prompts just, uh, you know, just for fun. Actually, let's go to image effects and styles. There's a pretty neat one here. Let's go for this one, 16 bit video game. So I am going to click this one, make a selection. Let's remove, uncheck this because then it doesn't really make sense here and click generate. This is pretty cool. Uh, this one isn't really all that useful, really, but it, it's pretty cool. But there are a lot of other really useful prompts here, and I invite you to explore them and try them out. Let's go back. And uh, this last button allows you to add a prompt. I have. You can type in whatever prompt you want and a, a title for the prompt. You can choose to add it to one of your existing categories, either uh, to the top or the bottom or you can add a new category and press save prompt to add them to your library. In your library, you can delete items or you can rearrange them up or down, or you can edit them and save them back. You can also export your library as a JSON file. You can save it anywhere and you can share it with other people and they can import it using this button and they'll have the same thing you have. Uh, and you can restore, if you make any edits and you want to restore the defaults, you can just press this button and you will restore your library to the default. Uh, the second update, the second important update, let's, let's remove this, I don't want it anymore, is that now you can add, let's check this back, you can add more than one reference image, although you need to be careful because doing this with too many images can cause the request to time out or even Photoshop to crash. So let's add, I'm going to add these glasses and I'm going to add this suit from last time. Okay. And you'll see this warning pop up that too many images may cause the request to time out or Photoshop to crash. So be judicious when using this feature. And we're going to say make her wear this suit and these glasses and hit generate. And bang, she's wearing the glasses and the suit. Perfect result, first try. I don't know why it added this number right here, but that's pretty easy to remove. Uh, anyway, that's it for the updates. Uh, I hope you liked using this new version.